There we are. There we are. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I've got a wonderful little treat for you. Today. It's the casting of Frank Stone. It is a story game. From the world of Dead by Daylight. I was just about to get into it there. Um, this game... I guess takes place in the Dead by Daylight universe. I think they're connected, so I think that there's going to be some connections overall between all of them. Or between the two of them. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Um, I haven't seen anything on it. I've seen the quick trailer that they released some time ago. Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives. Some will result in death. Bum, bum, bum. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. Okay. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity... A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key. My killer. I am Augustine Lieber. And I'm about to change our worlds forever. Okay, really quick. I'm gonna do my best to not talk during cinematic events, okay? If you guys prefer that, or if you guys... Oh my god. Am I a dog? What am I? It's this guy. Are we a dog or a monster? I'm just gonna be like a little pup, aren't I? crying. Why is this dog so aggressively loud? He's running from the killer. Drop the pallet. Dead mouse. Alicia. Steel meal. So I wonder if this is the steel meal from. Dead by Daylight, or Dead by, vice versa. Get into it, guys. Take a nice listen. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself.
Okay, so we got this multiple... I, I thought there was going to be a little more dialogue. Okay. I need to ask you a few questions. Or concerned. You and your dog's security for the mill. What do we go with here, chat? I think... I don't know. This guy doesn't look that serious, so we're going to... Concerned. We're going to go concerned. So, you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin. You two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. Call me Tom. Thomas Officer Jefferson. Sam Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned hmm. me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? That's right. Huh. So... Notice anything suspicious? Disapproving. I think we question him. I don't think we got any reason to believe that he's he's drinking. Question. Notice anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight? Last few nights? Anything at all? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here? He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here, and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. Then he got back in his car and left. Huh. Nobody's actually checked in it. Yeah, I find it a little weird that, like, you know, if he's got nothing going on, you shouldn't... If he's just the security guard for the mill, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. So what you're around. telling me is nobody's actually checked the mill for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. Hmm. Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Hey, there it is. Of course, there everything's is. locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. All right. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. He was drinking. Did we get a walk around the mill? I'm scared. I'm loafing my chonies. The casting of Frank Stone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we don't get a walk around yet? Maybe. Dude, that dog was making scary noises. Oh, and I gotta walk around. Alright, yep. Okay. Okay, we do got a sprint here. Um. We're just gonna take a quick peek and few different directions. Graphically, the art style, I think it's... I give it, like, so far. An open window. I can get in through there. Okay, that seems a little too easy to find that immediately. Um... No? No interaction button? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
You guys were a police officer. Okay, do we go in there? Yeah, I think it makes more sense to do this. Okay, he's yelling for the dog. He's yelling. We're just, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Make sure you are the slowest shuffler. What happens? Makes what is that? Okay, well, we found something. Sure, open it. A chess piece. Iridescent king. Oh boy, guys, my kid is screaming again. We might have to we might have to go check on her. Oh, was that it? Just a little secret? Yeah, okay. We definitely gotta check on the kiddo again, guys. I really apologize. Uh maybe we can wait for a dialogue section. I just I don't know what her deal is, man. She is a screaming banshee today. Can I climb up this? Is that a thing? So the iridescent king is a um doctor add-on. Cute little... I don't know if that's referencing that. I gotta assume it is, right? Yeah, I'm already hearing noises. Oh, man. Huh. What an athletic gentleman. Oh, I don't... I don't much... I don't much like this. Easy does it. I do not much like this at all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we... She's just kind of beat a butthead. She's having a rough day. I wonder if I can change the shoulder. Can't hear her. Yeah, I don't think she's screaming at the moment. But she's just kind of being a... She's kind of being a stinker today, ladies and gents. Ooh, I, I love the... I love when, when you zoom in real close, right? Just that shot just looked really nice, looking at the numbers on the uh, palette. I wonder if I can zoom out to maybe increase our field of view. Where I saw something shiny here. Maybe not. Terrible twos, thundering threes. Hey, that's a that's a wonderful way to put it. You know, it's, it's just that lack of communication that she's going through right now too. It's just, mm. it's tough. I think she just needs a nap. Honestly, I think that's all it is. Wait, you will- oh, I didn't see what that said. Ugh. Why is it so blurry like that? Wait, you will not be able to return to the area. Oh. Oh, if I go- do I gotta go out this door? Oh, I see. Yeah, let's let's double check that we got everything. Hey, look at this. Friday. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Based on the direction I move my mouse, I see. Sorry, let me get this a little more centered. Okay. Friday afternoon. Uh, Frank Stone. Hey, look at that. Okay, is this looks like a schedule? Employees, yeah, okay, so it's a schedule, it looks like. Let's flip it over. Uh, move dark Darkens and Stone to the graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Was, uh, hold the lump. Okay, um. Looks like some context, I guess. Nothing crazy. If you guys want me to read that stuff like out loud, let me know. If not, I'm just gonna leave it up there because your boy is not very, um, what's the word? 
grab. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Huh? Ah? Ah? Why I say it like that? Okay. Personal record date. Who's the employee? Uh, okay. Surname. Preferred name is T E F A. Tifa? Tifa? I don't know. Current position. Let's see address. Blah blah blah. Oh, it's like smudged, so we can't see it quite yet. Date of employment, February 4th. Okay. So I think we'll just keep that stuff in mind, maybe? Man, I don't know. A male employee got his job thanks to an endorsement. You're kidding. That stuff does not stay on the screen long enough. Chat, I, I cannot read that fast. Oh, I gotta... Hello? Oh, I gotta hold it. Hold the click button. That's making me do so much. <laughs> a quick look. Is this the area I came from? Or is it this one? It said I couldn't return to the area. But it looks like I can. Oh. Locked. Locked. Okay. It locked behind me. Love that. We love when games do that. What the piss was that? You Hello? Hear that? Anyone here? It's police. Alicia. Sorry, I'm looking for goodies. I don't know what any of this means. I'm oh shit! Damn. Not me panicking. Good lord. Okay, we're just here simply investigating a murder. Okay, there's nothing for us, a police officer, a man of the law, if you would, to be scared of. Okay, there's nothing to be worried about whatsoever. We are a man of the law with a flashlight. We got a gun? I didn't even see. Where's our gun? Oh, we got a gun. Who's there? Hello? Oh, I'm hearing giblets. The gooey stuff. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Jay, you always want to get the high ground, man. Of course. Mm. Dude, if this was me IRL, I'd be climbing up on top of all this stuff. That's as fast as you can go downstairs, sir. I, your mother is disappointed. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Smells like death. Well, that's not good when you're investigating a murder. God! Yeah, I don't know if I want to climb over that yet. But someone's either having a snack... I think uh, someone's having a snack here. Someone's having a whole snack over there. And I don't know if I want to be a part of it. I'm going to be honest with you. Sorry, I'm looking for goodies, chat. Yep, DVD vault location. Oh. Mm. Hey, uh, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. 
Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> ah. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. Uh, uh, nothing good. Yeah, well, my kid's diaper smells like shit. But I don't... I don't sit here and try to lecture the... Freaking... What a guy. I don't. I kind of don't like my character. He's kind of a prick. We wondered where you got to. Yeah, he's like Feral now. Come here, boy! Come here, Dang boy! Damn it! <laughs> sure would have liked it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. <clears throat> that is human remains, bro. Why would I touch that? It, dude, mm -mm. nope, chat, Can not you me. you put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? Yep. What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Wiener mate? Nope, that's an ear. That is a whole ass ear, brother. This is a human. This is this is a human. Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? There's no proof, but uh Oh, my guy's kind of a dick. I don't want him. There is no proof that it's him, right? We don't know if that's his ear. Yeah, I don't know how much my guy knows this person. Jeez. Came from somebody else. Nah. Came from someone much older. A teenager, maybe. Jesus, married a milkmaid. Well, that's even you know worse. you know about any other folks going missing in Cedar Hills lately? Well, I don't know. Who would know a thing like that? Well, somebody does. That came out of the barrel! That... I'm checking all your barrels, bud. You, what are you hiding here? I don't... Okay, I'm liking the... the Mr... Mr... Thomas Jefferson here. Hey, what's that? What's that? Give me this. <gasps> Is that the iridescent... What's all this? Can I not pick that up? Or is that the one I found? What the heck? We gotta go chase that dog now? What was that sound? Stay behind me. What are you gonna do with your flashlight? Oh, you got a gun. I forget he's got a gun, chat. But I'm still looking for that secrets in this box, no? Aw. Oh. Man. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. There's probably no more secrets right now. Oh. Ah. Uh. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, okay, so, my, my detective prowess. I thought there was, uh, the, the shadows down there, I was like, mm-mm, gone. But... You notice how there's no dust or dirt on top of this? That means people have been using it, okay? 
been used. But before we go down there, yeah, we always got to take a peek. Can I open that? I like it gave me a prompt. I can climb on top of this. And then over this. Woohoo! Yeah, what do we got here? Gotcha. What is that for? <gasps> That's a dead by daylight noise. I know that noise. That's a good noise. Try open the grate. Oh! Did I skip past trying to open it? <laughs> I do that a lot. My curiosity kind of helped here. Because I think you're supposed to interact with this and it's like, oh, I can't open it. And then you're supposed to go find that after. Maybe. I don't know. Q, use item. Okay. Stand back. Yeah, act like he served in some sort of war. You got skill check notification. Oh, is that what this is? I have to click that. Why would you not get the, the man's help? Oh god. Hmm. Alright. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Well, where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. Why am I going down there alone? And it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna be supportive. What kind of douchebag is he gonna get all mad? I need your help here, Tom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I, I, yeah. I can do this. Yeah. Yeah, Tom. Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope. Lord. Why is he struggling so hard to go down the ladder? <laughs> Sir, that's really bright. Okay, okay. Um, first of all, chat, I would like to say... You could still get out of here with that. Second of all, I would never come down here by myself. Oh my, you got me all sorts of messed up. Okay, always go left, chat, always go left. Let's go. We got here. Can I open that? Of course I can't. Why would I? Oh, I shouldn't be exploring because then you find things you're not supposed to. Oh, I'm so scared. Who's that? Oh, my hat. Damn it! Damn it! I can't grab it. Put it back on your melon. I'd at least frisbee it out of here so it can dry up top. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a hat guy. I like to wear hats. Okay, I know I said always go left. But, like, that kind of looks like the way I'm supposed to go. I don't like that this is a loop, it feels like. I don't know. <sighs> ah, da, 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 da. 
What's that? Neat. Oh, I found a little ting. Wooden horse. The wooden horse. Uh, that's what the twins. The twins have a wooden horse add on. Something like that. Oh my god. Damn. It's a maze down here. Maybe. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, before we go down, all right, we're gonna explore this little path over here. Oh, you're shitting me. Oh. Why don't I have my gun out, dude? I'd be walking around. Oh, this game. Oh, chat. I don't know if I'm built for this game. I don't know if I'm built for this. Can I not? Okay. This downstairs doesn't lead to anything. Of all these pipes, right? Pipes usually goes go into the wall. Love it. Oh no! This one goes to nothing. What? Are, what does this serve? Huh? Okay. Um, I have to go this way. No? Okay. Well. I'm no bio major, but this ain't adding up. Did it? Did I not go the right way when I did this? This has got to be it. Okay. What's that? I found things. at that there's a dude in there I don't know who that is looks like a little pretty boy though All right, let's go find pretty boy is that the guy we're looking for is that his ear yeah this place is massive and spooky Bam. I need to get put on a hook by by the old frosty boy chat what is that that's bones Them's bones, chat. I know, I know bones when I see them. Ah, uh, this place turns my stomach. Yeah, well, you don't. I think we can crawl down there. But... It's Billy, Things the hillbilly. Get weirder and weirder down here. Chat, it's a DVD, uh, killer. You guys know, obviously, chat. If you're here watching me, you probably know. But it's almost kind of cute. It's actually probably more terrifying than the actual hillbilly, but anyway, found us a little hillbilly doll. Yo, Billy boy. I was crawling under here. Yep, knew it. Goddamn small spaces. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think. Nice Easter egg. Yeah, there's loads of them um, so far. What was that? Found tings. What is this? My God. Oh, what is that? 
What are you? I don't like how it can't just pick things up. Am I loot goblin? Am I a hoarder? Because I want to hold it. Keep it in my inventory, if you will. Wait. To succeed a skill check, press... And the pointer is inside the success. <laughs> that was so corny, dude. What? <laughs> Hurry, grab the pipe. Chat, we've got elite practice landing skill checks. Okay, can't go that way. Why does it do that? Just me up there. Effort. <laughs> That's not a crib. Actually, that might be a crib. What is that? Is that the Frosty Boy Chap? I think it's smarter to take the ramp. Gives you a better view of the room. You can't get snuck up on as easy. Just not see? Look at the baby! So strong. Where's my skill checks? What am I doing? Oh, I see. And then we go click. Oh, get punched, buddy. Ah, oh, great skill check. Punch in the middle. But I whiff. I think I whiffed. Yeah, I whiffed. Do I die here? Yeah, for the baby. I just get hooked. He hooked me. I'm hooked. I know how this goes. Kobe. That shit would hurt so bad. Come on, get up. Time to be a hero. It's a higher calling. Remember, he said it. Yeah, bam! Bam! Oh, you're gone. Goodbye. Enjoy the fire. Oh, he landed on a spike in the fire. You shot Frank Stone and saved the child. That's Frank Stone? Good lord. 
big tight motherfucker. Oh yeah. You gotta save that kid. It's too hot in this room for this poor little bean. You better wake up. Is she still alive? Why are we zooming in on her? Yo, what was the hooded person above? Oh, is that the entity? Chat, that's the entity. What's going on? Sam, stop Frank Stone. Let's go. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not. Okay. W. Frank Stone. <laughs> what the? Where's my ceiling? Nope. Nope. What kind of game just steals my ceiling? Are these my homies? Mom. That's my mom. Got it. Um... I don't know who stole my ceiling, but we're gonna figure it out, chap. Oh, hell no. Come back! I'm not vibing this. Where am I? This house design is terrible. None of this is right. Yeah, maybe to and include the fact that you don't got a roof? You don't got a ceiling? Uh-oh. Um, that's spooky. I'm back, Mom. Wait, let's. Oh, yeah, that looks interactable. That looks interactable. Let's talk about the drawer, but sure. Dude, I grabbed that cup. That's a good weapon. You ever smash a cup over someone? Pretty effective. Oh, it's getting more crunchy. Oh no. Oh. What the? I'm no bio major, but there wasn't a ceiling before. Okay. All right. My mom is gonna die. That's all. God, what do we got now? It's getting more and more scratched out. Yeah. Go the other way! Let's go back! Let's go back! I don't want my mod to die. That's ridiculous. Let's go out the other door. How about that? Where my mom gets younger. How about that? No? I don't even... Oh no, we couldn't. I tried to go out the door. Can I grab this glass of water though? different between this one and the other one. Yeah. Gotta give the old shake. Shake, rattle, and roll, baby. Let's go. Oh. oh. Maybe. Here we go. Hopping, marching. Mm, 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 mm. You guys ain't seen dance moves like that before. We need to call an electrician. We need a carpenter. Do we need to build a whole house at this point? Okay, what's up with this glass? Why am I able to interact with it? Is it changing and I'm just like missing that? Oh god. I wasn't ready for I'm missing anything. God, I don't want to do this. Okay, now we're out of the house. Fine by me. Why am I red? What's that? What are you going right here? Some scratch marks? 
Chat, I'm leaving scratch marks. I'm no bio major, but every time I leave scratch marks, usually something's trying to find me. Okay, and she can walk through this perfectly straight, but she's gonna have to walk slowly sideways. Do I still have scratch marks behind me? I don't know. No. Okay, we're good. We threw on the urban evasion, man. We're crouch walking. Mushrooms. Observe our surroundings. Before we go turning on TVs. White static TV. Mom? Meh. What's wrong? What's behind us? Dude, is the Onryo gonna come out of the TV? I'm out. You don't just leave static TV on. Oh god. I'm here. Everything's alright. No, you're going TV. Oh my! That's the reaction you had? Oh my. That was the entity. Close to a zombie for you, you're out. A zombie? She walks I don't think it's a zombie at all. In a long Just the entity. An Ami. Um. She an omnipresent being? I don't know. Omnipotent being? There you go. Winds Track is good. You can do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I can hear the left. The left side is the right side. The scaffold was high, and eternity was near. Nope. Nope. Is that a hitchhiker? Ah, uh, yes. Stop or drive? Oh, chat. I know I'm a silly goose for this. Okay. Uh, hi. <clears throat> so, uh, drive, drive, drive. You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah, so, do you mind giving me a lift? Uh, no. Right. No. Sure. No. Of course. What kind of interaction was that? You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. I don't like her attitude. I stopped to help you, lady. <sighs> now your car getting hijacked. Apparently, shit. Choose to pick up the hitchhiker. Nice going, Gil. Dude, uh, well, I don't... I'm a nice guy, alright? So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. 
So did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business or? I did not. Oh. This lady is so, the um, worst. Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice, or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway, because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. Fuck you, Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Run out of gas? Huh? No, I mean, what? No, no, it's just you were so chatty a minute ago. Oh. I missed yeah. the skill check. Relationship. Okay. Hey. Take a look. Yeah, well, here's the deal, dude. I, I don't read very fast. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. Damn it, man. I was trying to read the options. In the House of Darkness. Oh, great. God damn it. Chad. Hey, I didn't talk too much. The lady, the lady ends up being happy that I didn't talk that much, so maybe I'm not dying. At least to her. This place is definitely a little too uh, on the nose. I was gonna say a little too much hmm. like a horror movie. Sorry, I had to grab a drink. Exactly. So um. Do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Ah. Uh. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? My character's annoying. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently. Now, what? First of all, lady, you are setting yourself up to get straight shanked in the freaking back. I was gonna say the back skin, but. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Uh uh, nope. Hello? Let's take a look around. No! Ugh! You look ambiguously spooky, and I do not like it, um, lady. You look like hello? Jamie Lee Curtis We've meets arrived. fucking Michael Myers. They look like they had a freaking evil sister. That's you. God, what is this? I'm not buying any of your Activia, lady. You are awful. Okay, I love Jamie Lee Curtis, though. She's the best. Good lord. What is this? Let's go ahead and pop that open. Hey, look at that. Do -do 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 -do. Bam. Good lord. 
Yeah, I'm scared of the Activia lady right now. She's going sicko mode on us. Can I open this door? Oh, of course I can. Oh, yeah, wonderful. Let's search upstairs first. Good idea. What's that? It's a map? I want to see the back huh. of it. Music notes. You even I could play this. A survivor's theme. By M. DBC DBC or wait. DBC DB B D. Oh my god, that's impossible. I somebody tell me how that sounds. Is that the Dead by Daylight theme song? Boom 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 boom. Looks like it. Chess! Think about it for a minute. Why did you press play? I already caught you gotcha thinking about my chess game. Okay, I don't want to go in there yet. I'm going to go in there. Take a peek. Take a peek. Can't go in there. Alright. Oh, we made a lap. Make sure there isn't anything. Why is she just staring at stuff? Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Let's see, actually, that Hitchhiker probably knows you better than your own character. I'm not trying to call for whoever out, but no one's even answering the doorbell. Uh, yeah, no. I'm thinking that the Hitchhiker is the owner of this place. Looking forward to doing business with you. Uh huh. Huh. That's today. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. Yeah, let's not say that about somebody who could just be... That looks like the lady. Hmm. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to read all this. Ready for invitation. Okay, the grounds have your visitors arriving. Where can myself to do? Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Do you play? Um, a little. <gasps> we gotta do the survivor's theme. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Whoa. <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? Uh, it's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. This is kind of freaking me out. I don't want to go weird, in there. right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah. It's a little ABC, odd. DB, oh god. This is when BD. some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from the basement, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. Is that a that's a reference to a basement, Bubba? For a reason. And I don't think it's so our host can wear our faces as leather masks. That yep. <sighs> basement Bubba. That's super Texas comforting. Chainsaw Masker. She made a reference to the basement, Bubba. Okay, if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm sorry. You're missing out. That is excellent. This is straight just fan service for Dead by Dead. I don't like this. I'm going to the red room. Where's the... Hey, come down here with me. Don't... Don't leave me. I don't... Hello? You're not coming with me? I think we should go down here together. Okay? This seems like a two-man job. And you staying up here to sell Activia is not gonna... Alright, you know what? I don't need you. I don't need you or your healthy Activia bowel movements anywhere near me. Oh no. 
What is that? What is that? It's the Huntress! Ah. Hmm. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. Yeah, that's a pretty messed up looking Huntress though, for sure, chat. What the heavens? That's that's really cute and clever though. Like if you know who the Huntress is, right? It's like clever. Because you've got the little stick with the razor blade that's supposed to be the hatchet she can throw. And then the paper... Is this called a paper clip? What is that? It's a clip for papers, right? I don't know what that specific kind of paper clip is called, but... Yeah, a little Huntress doll that's... I don't know, it's kind of clever. It's cute. In a spooky way. It's spooky in a cute way. I guess more future skins, maybe? Oh, I got the hiccups, guys. I'm so sorry. This seems a bit more lively. She was behind me the whole time. Binder clip. Ah, there you go. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hmm, no. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. I don't like you. And you would be? Maddie. I don't like anybody Maddie. right now. Nobody. Beautiful name. Short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Huh. Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue, okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Ugh. Investigate, I like that. Yeah, let's investigate. Stan is short for Stanford? Stan. That wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. No. This guy's Bruno an Stanford ass. Bruno Stanford III. That's your beck and call. But only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford the third. At your back end call. Only if you call me Stan. If he says it one more time. If he says it one more time. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna hit him with a rock. Truly an honor. A double sided <laughs> rock. <laughs> Truly. Truly. Uh so you would a bit what's Scottish going on there. right now. Uh well. I think our new friend here. Is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Blood Benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. Um, no. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. She I'm just sorry. left the car I there, too. Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. I Your last name is guy. Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I hope I he dies. I'm sorry. Around. I, <laughs> I know someone's going to die. It better be him. <laughs> Maybe our host has left something out for us. Oh, my God. Why did he get so close to the screen? Down? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but I won't bore it you with money it. and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. And I hate his whole outfit. Does he got a brown belt? If he doesn't got a brown belt, I hate him. I hate him. 
Because the belt's gotta match the shoes, chat. The belt's gotta match the shoes. Yeah, it doesn't even look like he's wearing a belt. And I hope you're sweating. Ah, uh, you stand next to that candle and sweat. And he, he does the arm fold leaning up against the- Alright, get this guy out of here. I just don't like the way he talks. Gilgamesh? The Epic of Gilgamesh. Sure. Why are we opening this? A bit of light bedtime reading. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I ain't trying to read all this. What the heck? A book attempting to illustrate Norman acts of violence. Be heroic. Oh, uh, maybe I should have read it. Oh, no. Should I? What's going on here? Where did we come in from? Was that door? One of these doors. What are you? Huh. Murder Movie mill. Poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. I heard Murder it's like a look from Ellen from the Ellen show. Had extra clues. Yeah, I should probably go back and read it, huh? Murder Mill. Hey, either of you heard of Murder Mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, but... Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced hey. interrogation. Hey! That's How a place! You know all this? Dead by daylight! I'm a fan! <laughs> right the there. Face know this kind of stuff. <laughs> Chad, if you okay. I I know not I I know you guys know, but some of you may not know. Larry's Memorial Institute is the place where the doctor works, right? The killer from Dead by Daylight. And that's where he takes and tortures and does his his spooky work. And it's also a realm in Dead by Daylight. It's like a map you can run around and you don't play on. So it's cool that the the connections are there, right? Like, I don't know. Another another like little Easter egg, I guess. Fan service, if you will. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am taking the theatrics. <laughs> I don't like him. Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while it's we are together. It's another activity lady. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention. Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh. My mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. Ah, McGillicuddy. Right here. Mm -hmm. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Mm. Hello? What the heck? Oh. Um, reluctant. Chad, do we take a drink?
Oh, it was already on the schedule. Sure. Yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No, thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. <laughs> Fucking high and mighty that one is. You pro yet? I know it's been mean? quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. Hey, yo, we dr that That cup was in the dream. That cup was you in the dream. Right? Yeah, no, it's... Nothing. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur. Oh boy. Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I, I... I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What's going on? I'm so confused. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have she to apologize again, yet. but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. You just leave me in your home? Just say you gotta take a dump or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I... I know that's not very demure of me, but like... <laughs> we were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Chat, all the noises that come from Dead by Daylight. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. <laughs> but you'll never defeat our spirit. Spirit. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. My sister. Oh, God. All I have to do is 
betray my own sister, and you will let me go free to fight another day. What am I watching? God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! I'd rather die. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you aliens. Poke him in the eye. Oh. Do your worst. I can take it. What are you doing? What am I watching? Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. What, what did we do, Linda? Was that what a What is gun? happening? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The like craft! Make. Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. That's just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Um... I don't know. I, we'll, we'll, def we'll defend the lady recording. Of course. Chris... You're the director. But like, part of the job is working with people you trust and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Yeah, okay. Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. That sounds fair. And it'll be my way because okay. I'm the director. You. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. All right, flag on the play. Yeah. Ew. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On yeah, your I feet, would. people, everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds. I gotta watch this uh, again. Camera speeds. All right. Everybody settle, and hold, and hold, and action. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. Huh? What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right. Sorry. How many times have I told you, 
to stay away from this place. We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Mm -hmm. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Tammy D. Dixie. Oh, no. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. I mean, he does got a point, but like... We're a rebellious teenager, right? Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. What a... All right, then... Arrest us. What? Arrest us. For trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously. Because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing any more filming today. Not with yeah. that. That's fair. That's fair. We did break the camera. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not going to do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. So to recap here, okay, to get this all, feels bad when the squad takes it out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I'm a little confused, chat. I'm a little confused. Okay. So, so far we've started three stories and only what they kind of connect a little bit. I hope that this all becomes worth it at the end, right? That we've got this massive tie together because so far this ain't making a lick of freaking sense okay they're at the abandoned mill which seems to be sometime later after the events of what happened at the beginning of the game when we were playing as detective or officer green there played as him you know we shot frank stone and he fell into the spikes in the fire it seems like the lady the director lady made a movie about that sawmill and I'm assuming that my theory is that the entity is somehow tied to it tied to the film and that sawmill obviously by what the other lady said not Activia Lady 1 but Activia Lady 2 <laughs> um yeah I I don't know that these guys are trying to film a movie in the sawmill sometime after the events that we played through in the beginning. So that's kind of everything I've put together. Other than that, none of this is making a lick of sense. All wrapped out, sir. Don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Yeah, so this kind of looks like Iron Works of Misery. Right? 
kind of looks like that. I don't know, chat. This, is this a good place to end the stream? To end this first episode? And then we can pick it up? A curiosity on Main Street. Watch the cutscene and figure out where we're going from there. Oh, what a complete and utter disaster! Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Oh my Go. god, what is this lady, dude? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like, our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't a 50 Sheriff 50 on have anything better to do with like his it, time? I am not like, hooked, but I feel hooked touching... Criminals and shit? But I feel the hook touching exactly my skin, yeah. Noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't oh. know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you <clears throat> held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. Okay, so it is all tying together, it So looks what was like. this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. I want to know who were the victims. Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. You. I'm excited. I want to know. I want to know. Do you know what this means? That way you need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you, you get, think about get a permit? It? Our movie shot in a real life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity buster. Oh. People are actually gonna want to see this thing. We're gonna be like totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just got to make sure these last couple of scenes are going to blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck, but not if our fucking camera is fucking broken. Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the T-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> Okay. Uh, um, 
You want a piece of me too? Howdy, partner. And this is more me. Hey, are you okay? Jim? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. That's yeah. what we can look at it. And you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Uh, um, the, well, she's going to ask her for the We're money. making this movie, and we're so close to finishing... But we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Uh, I'd rather highball it. I'm uh, just like... To 20 bucks, we'd probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's, That's how wild, much because... camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Okay, the, I don't like that huh. they kind of sleazeballed it. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah, I'm the type of person, like, okay, if I'm gonna borrow money from somebody, I'm straight. Alright, I'm like, hey, I don't know how much it's gonna cost. This is, this is the ballpark. I'll get you the change back kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, if you, come on. Come on. We, I, I don't like that answer. I should've just went with ten bucks. Yeah. Alright, I'm in. Who am I to stand in the way of art? Scummy kids, regarded. absolutely. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Mm, not a bad deal. <sighs> all right. It's a deal. I love her aesthetic, the way she dresses. You know, that kind of goth look. Try not to waste it. That Don't worry. Time. We'll put it to good use. So, is this... So, really quick, this is another theory I've got. Is this... Is she the lady in the future? Is she the Activia lady? Is the director the Activia lady? 80s. Yeah, but not everybody dressed like that in the 80s. It, it, more like 80s grunge, right? Like 80s goth grunge kind of kind of look that grungy look. It's probably what I'm what I'm looking for. Right, because these guys don't dress like that. I'm fine. It's just uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a You're horror gone. movie, You're honey. Dead. Anyone could go at any time. <laughs> Activity Lady is the one in braids? Oh, okay, is it? Hopefully. Wait, the, 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 this lady right here, the, um, kind of. The redhead? Did I miss that? Did I I wasn't paying attention to the names because I keep calling her the activity lady. <laughs> so it is. Okay, so this is This is the actual filming of Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm picking it all tonight. up. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like yeah, she kinda got that bitchy TV. face. Yeah, I see what? it now. What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? Well, there's there only was a one place like that in my grandfather's house. 
The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Okay, I didn't grow up in the 80s, obviously, chat. I was born in the late 90s. I have no fucking idea if drugstores fix things, okay? <laughs> uh, on the other hand, <laughs> I'm a bit curious about the curiosity shop, okay? So I think I'm just going to go, we're going to go to the curiosity shop. Use that footage for a movie? Yeah, I like that theory. I like that theory. I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? Yes. I get ah, it. me too. Me Believe too. Away. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, like, they weren't sure about Man, the one shop. Might as well try a new place. This place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Yeah, I don't know then about we all hit that. The jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. We got to look inside. Actually, I think that's exactly where the best ones are. Ah, no? uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Oh, God. Hello. Now that's a zombie. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm we sorry. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Looks like a buffer karate kid. Inside. Oh, from are you talking from the original now, Karate Kid? Let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. She's so excited, dude. This old lady is at home? the shit. Here? Something about old know. people being happy makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know why. They just deserve it. Failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Oh man, I gotta be this. I gotta be the bimbo. Buns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this. Oh. Am I missing these? Because I didn't find any when I played as what's her bucket. <gasps> it's the Huntress mask, chat. Oh, That's so cool. Cute bunny. Cute bunny. This goes to an a, a unit, a Russian crazy lady. Okay, to be fair, right? The huntress is, has a sad story. She does have a sad story. A lot of the killers in Dead by Daylight do, but Okay, what are we holy reading this? Has never owned this place before had some lousy luck. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, feels bad. Ain't nothing on the back of it. Hey, a crow. Chat, it's one of the DVD crows. You can tell by the... Or is it the artist? One of the artist crows? Because of the face? We love that. We love all the Dead by Daylight references, chat. That's... They're awesome. Can I go behind the counter? That'd be so funny. <laughs> I'll sell you things and stuff. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're just gonna look around. Hmm. What is that? You are film. Why is it making this scary noise? When I look at it, 
What's so important about that film? Oh? It's a frosty boy! Look at him! Imagine cuddling up to that at night. I would! Are you kidding me? Oh, he's got nails driven through him instead of... Chat. Chat, I love him. I, I want one of these IRL. Are you kidding me? The nails poked into him. It's like the hooks. That's, that's clever and cute. This one's actually adorable. I feel like I can make this too. Look, there's got the little, just little hair ties. The overwalls. There's a little cleaver, the mask. That's cute. 10 out of 10. I want one. I want a, man. A little frost. Whoa, what is this? A little button. Ooh. Is that like supposed to be maybe a reference to Legion? Oh yeah, it's the um It's like the Legion's add-on, right? The The whatchamacallit button. Is it called the iridescent button, chat? Or is it called the smiley face button? I I know it's a Oh. I don't know if I'm vibing. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Okay, sorry. The wife's just messaging me. We gotta... What? It looks like a hallway to like a mansion, maybe? Hmm. Can't really see what's going on. Okay. Let's go open some doors now. I just wanted to take a good look around the shop. <gasps> I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Chat. If you know, you know. If you don't, this is the Wraith, another killer in Dead by Daylight. That's his uh, weapon of choice that he hits on his welling bell that turns him invisible. Or that cloaks him and then uncloaks him. But then he also, you know, hits survivors with that. Um, is that the door we want to go through? Or is there another door that we could have went through? I want to check down this aisle too. We're just window shopping, chat. You never know what you'll find. You already got that. Oh yeah, it was this door. Okay. I'm a pretty firm believer of always go left. First. Can't do that. Um, hello? My guy just did a whole 180. What am I supposed to be doing? Completely forgot what I was doing. Um, should I stand next to? Yeah. Okay. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like. So bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Who? Yes. Whoa. It's like the exact thing. But may I? I insist. I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look?
I think it said 20. 20 bucks. It feels a little high. You know, you know, you know, she's a nice okay. old lady. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks yeah, for finding dude. us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Why is she looking like that? Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Is that a thing? Was that a thing in the 80s? You just keep a quarter in your sock? First of all, milk costing a quarter? Crazy. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Karate, the ultimate defense. Okay, well. It was meant for a payphone. Sock quarter. Listen, SJB72. You seem to have a lot of knowledge of the 80s here. <laughs> what is this? What is that? Them's candy. I could so find a place for these in Myrtle Mill. If we had any cash to spare. Oh, them, them's not candy. Not. That was, those are firecrackers. I can read. I pinky promise. You not know who SJB is? I no clue. No clue. Uh, should I know? Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Waterlogged shoe! Guys, that's awesome. The waterlogged shoe is an add-on. Um... Yeah, it's an add-on uh, for the the hag in Dead by Daylight. The water lug shoe. Think deep, dude. You asked me to think deep, and I'm playing a game that I'm already thinking deep. Fear trap. Yeah, let's start. Duh. What's going on, Zach? This is a game you... I know you're appreciating. Not this game that I'm playing right now in the arcade. I'm pretty confident we're gonna lose here, but... I wanna see if there's maybe like an achievement or something for... Should I get it? I've been debating. Oh, a 10 out of 10, man. All of the references, it's, uh, it's beautiful. I think in this shop alone, there's some references. Like, I just picked up a little silver thing. I'll have to show you. Come on, come on. Sorry, chat. Forgive me. Forgive me. Oh, I died. Okay, we'll, we'll get out of here. Let me see, let me... I got the hiccup shot, I'm so sorry. Let me run back over here to this little thing. So right here we've got the iridescent queen. The wooden horse and the waterlogged shoe. Um, these are all little things, little trinkets I found. Through the past couple of stories that I've played. Or little chapters I've played and... They're all like add-ons for um, characters, right? 
and I, dude, I wish you're gonna have to go back and watch, man. You're gonna have to go back and watch. I know, I know it's kind of rough sometimes to go back and watch, but we were across the road over there, and I found. I won't spoil it all because I'm gonna make you go back and watch it. Um. But I, we did find Wraith's weapon and a Huntress mask there, and we actually got to interact and pick up the Huntress mask. And there's there's just so many things like that reference like or that are like DVD references, and it's really cool. Like in the previous story, they talk about like uh, a secret hatch opens or not hatch, but bookcase opens and it leads into this like red room that goes downstairs into the basement and she's like oh i hope somebody with a chainsaw doesn't come out of the basement and it's clearly making a reference to like a basement bubba and then immediately after i noticed that she said i don't think that anybody's gonna try and cut our face off and wear it as a mask like leatherface or bubba does right so it's just like it's little things like that that like if you're a fan of Dead by Daylight. Year. Oh. Whoa. Our movie is gonna be the last record of the mill. I'm sure maybe some of this is like I don't know, some sort of reference. It's behind you. Is that Dracula? Yeah, there's just, there's so many references. Alright, I'm supposed to get milk? Okay, yeah. Is this the milk I want to get? Another missing kid. I hope they're found. I've never seen the missing photos on like a milk carton. Is that like a privilege thing? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. Uh -oh. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> You can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> 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 ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. <laughs> All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, horror. comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar I hate Stadium. how she says horror. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... He dies, doesn't he? <sighs> Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Okay. He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry, we had a I little hit the run in with him today. But we're going to sneak back in to shoot the rest. Man, I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. You didn't yeah, see him come uh, in. Chris was just telling me about a um a. We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chat, look at the detail on his belt. I don't know what my deal is with belts today. <laughs> Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. But 
Just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. <gasps> Even your underwear drawer. Oh God, I turned, I thought the damn door in my room opened that. <laughs> Take care. The panic was so instant. Oh my God. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mail without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> a flag. Time out. As long as nobody's got a, a mustache, we're good. We can make a movie. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me. Allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Wait a minute. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. <gasps> but what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? So that lady is a booger. Okay, I'm a little more interested. At first, it really felt like none of the stories were connecting, and I guess, you know, we just gotta play it. These walls have- I didn't read what that said. These walls have something. And Um, I'm- I'm a pretty compassionate person. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. Left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand- oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Um. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's. Uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. Oh boy. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So listen, if Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Hmm. Why do you think she wants it so bad? She's I mean, gonna do something spooky and evil. not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. 
I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. No. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> yeah, I'm good Hi. here. I, I think I'm good here. Period. You're lost. Hmm. I don't think I'm losing anything. Oh, I'm playing as old girl now. Activia. Oh. We're gonna sell all the Activia. So, Let's go. Uh, murder mill? I'm guessing it's not a romantic comedy. Years back, there was this killer. Frank Stone. Used to mutilate his victims. At the old Cedar Steel Mill. Frank Stone. I think I've heard of him. Hmm. Why am I able to pick that up? Man, lurk! He's lurking. Lurking right in the waters. What you doing in the waters? Do you really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, do you think she isn't going to follow through on her, uh, offers? Hmm. Dubious? Dubious? Is that dubious? Or cynical? See, it does seem too good to be true. I don't, I don't know. It seems weird. Hmm. Speaking from experience, don't get your hopes up. Why? Talk is cheap. Period. Dare you enter murder mill? Bah, bah, bah. Great. What'd he find? Death. Doom. We went from murder mill to murder mansion. Pick up. What is so special about this cup, chat? There's a couple times we've been able to pick that up. Alright, let's get over here. Take a peek. Why don't we go look around together? Unless you want to stay here by yourself? Okay. Oh, never thought your little Maddie Bear would end up in a place like this, huh? That? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Never mind. What were you shouting about? Look at this place! You should shoot one of your movies here. Why? Because it's cool as hell! It is well really... Take a look around. Really neat place, chat. I really Can't dig deny that. this place would make an incredible film location. Hmm. Who's that? I love your outfit, by the way. Huh. Well, thanks. Now that was a curious Italian. sound. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheek from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP I hate this club guy. edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. Found a turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> All right, Don't this guy me. sucks. Oh, you can be sure of that. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's take a peek at this tree. That kind of looks like the cow tree. No? Or am I mistaken? It looks like the cow tree without the cows. Okay. Uh, I don't want to quite go in there yet. Ah, yes. 
Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, kind of well, weird. it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Oh, she was the girl that gave... Wow. Okay, Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... Touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I I hope I'm not evil. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Because I didn't like the activity lady at first, but Lucky for now me, she has it wasn't lore. my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film ships came from? What a douche. I suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. I hate him. Yeah, you guys can go upstairs. I'm gonna take a peek at this secret. Dude, all my evil. Looks like practically every room in the house. But where's our host? Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit weird. A bit funky. Who's that? Blueprints for something. She's building something. Hmm. Oh, I hate how sensitive this is. I like tap it. Oh, I can't see anything important. This one has no signal, however. Hmm. You guys went fast as hell. What is that? Cool <gasps> it's statue. the hillbilly. Hmm, missing a piece, though. You think the screw goes there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know it's just a... Or the bolt, rather. Goes there. I don't think it does, but I think it would match. I don't think I'm supposed to see in there. Is that the room we came out of? Yeah. What the heck? Okay. Well, let me in there for some reason. So the statue's missing a piece. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Hmm. Oh, I thought it wasn't gonna let me through. I was like, come on, man. Hey, one of them boxes. Give me stuff. 
Oh. So it looks like the next... I don't know what add-on that could possibly be yet. We'll find out though, chat. We'll find out. We need a key. Looks like it opens with a key. Golly. So we need a key. We need a little piece to that hammer. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. No. That looks like the entity's claws, chat. Dude, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Hmm, the faithful night. Yeah, so we get we got to play this out essentially. Frank Stone. Damn. I should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. Yeah? And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Not in a million years. No way. Why is she talking to herself? Who is she talking to? You'd really get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Talking to someone special? What? I, Your I, mom. I mean, My mom. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like, Bonnie? Perhaps. I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. And she was dead. That's sad. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. Oh, that's, ooh, that ain't, that ain't she healthy. She was a good right? talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Uh, gosh. Yeah, that's a, well, that's a heavy question, man. She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. Hmm. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. Boy. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. We get a flashback? Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Years ago. Backstory. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right Value. in the middle of it all 
was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Hey, hey guys. What's up? Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Hmm. If this block gets any thicker. <laughs> I kind of want to do this one here. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so, do you think we should find Augustine, give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going our to relationship went down because I was concerned with That's our safety. For artifacts, right? Fucking, what is that? Artifacts all over the place. Right, so, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. Yeah! You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. You just saw a guy okay. outside. I mean, sure, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. All right, I'm a little spooked now. Phantom of the oh my god, I couldn't read it. So, hold on. This a cedar What's taking them so long. Yep. I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Fans already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. What why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Hmm. Yeah. Why? Well, you know. Hey, right at time. Time to get cooking. Nothing, nothing, just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie's snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No. Tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Value. Sounds like a productive day. <clears throat> and yes, I had some help from my uh, assistant. I aim to please. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, Gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm... I'm honored. Value baby. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. The plot is thick, chat. The, the plot is thick here. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? 
Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Stone's victims were real people. Obviously, this guy sucks. That's not... Okay. Stone's victims were... Real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just like super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to like exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. I mean, she's not wrong, right? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We've only got one shot at this. Yeah. So, let's not fuck it up. Damn. This lady is rude. She's a rude lady. Can we help? Nah, Robert and I will go through and see if there's any other good places in the mill to shoot. Then we'll head out. Oh, okay. Act like we don't exist. What kind of horse shit is that? Tom Holt interview. Mm. Oh, I actually get that. Here, why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations in the mill that could be associated with Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty huge Our place. Unless you sure can't get enough Frank Stone. There's gotta be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. Hmm. We'll find it. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. So this man was a murderer long before. Here, I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank no Stone stuff. Dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. Oh, what the? People were depressed. Oracle of the there universe. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Does not Can sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank... I don't know. It's all related. To him. Uh, to the way he was. Or An omniverse? Why he did what he or did. Or Something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. Oracle of the Omniverse, huh? I don't know if I want to play music. Right this second, because it might start some dialogue. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the cool. murders. And the little four. Oh, good thinking. Murder meal. Okay. Talk to old girl, can we? Let's go. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Should I be worried about Robert? She was being a little flirty with him, you know? I don't feel like this is, it's warranted a discussion yet. She hasn't done anything that... Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little... intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know... Those victims could have been any of us. Or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? 
I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this mm -hmm. one. Take a look. Let's see it. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Did she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect. But I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's pretty rad. Hope we have. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, what is? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders. Before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations. Kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello. What is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people. Company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit. No, I didn't get to play the, the, the music. Go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. What were you- Did you call me a ding-dong? You... I didn't get to play the music, Chad. I'm kind of upset about that. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I present... The myth. Yep. Oh boy. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. Oh my god. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Someone's stalking us. It's probably just his dad, right? Oh, just the careful. police officer. First step's a doozy. Oh boy. Oh boy. We should step in a frosty boy track. Right. This way. Oh boy. Oh, we're playing her now? Okay. We always look for secrets, chat. We're we're a secret gatherer. Ooh. There. Ooh. <laughs> Breathe in. It's not even that tight of a squeeze. Bit dramatic. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Franks don't actually. Okay. No. Oh. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two. Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Mm. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Chat, what do we do? I kind of like the idea of seeing the patrol route. But I kind of want to cross the river. It, they said it would take a little bit longer. Maybe there's a little more collectibles. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No offense. Hey, I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Oh boy. Sick. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but hmm. it's just kind of his thing. 
Rolling up? Nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. Oh? Someone's watching us. I don't like this. Make sure there's no secrets, duh. Definitely secrets. No secrets? None, huh? Yeah, you're all following me, haha. -ha. I can't go around that twig. Lame. Campfire. Looks old. Huh. Bonnie and her friends used to come out here and hang out. No! I cut off the dialogue. Oh. Bonnie yeah. seems too cool to have friends. And that's why she moved to New York. Wait, really? <laughs> no. But she wasn't always so Bonnie. What? She was kind of a pretty little two shoes. Who had bonfire parties at abandoned mills? What's wrong with that? It just doesn't feel very goody little two shoes. Well, Bonnie was the president of the Clean Up Cedar Hills High School Initiative. We'd come through here and pick up all the litter that had blown in off the road. Oh, goody little two shoes. What happened? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll, chat. Let's go. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Alright, that's dramatic. You're lying. Oh, my. <clears throat> chat. It's stuff like that that makes me not enjoy games like this. I'm like... I understand they're trying to make it interactive, but I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Just give me a bunch of skill checks all the way over here. Dramatic. I, I'm pretty confident I could sprint across that. Well, he's just going down there. Uh, that's definitely secrets over there. Which means I gotta do this balance game again, huh? Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And gravity. Hey, let's see what we got. <gasps> Tattooed middle finger. That's kind of cool, chat. That's a clown out on. If you didn't know. Okay. Easy. I don't know who's stalking us. You guys hear the beepy? What's that beepy?
Oh, I'm not allowed to go first? Okay. Fair enough. Lead the way, sir. We are athletes, chat. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. A cookie. At least. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> nice. Flashlight. Uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, uh, well, the flashlights. Uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, three ponchos? cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. Excuse you. Your ugly face. Move. Oh my. Okay. Whatever. Oh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Kinda? Lead the way, Mr. Man. Alright. I'll lead the way. I'm moving so slow. Ba, 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 ba. We must be under the mail by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time. Box. We find the next Adam. <gasps> we missed one! No! Feels bad. That's okay. <gasps> I think I see a doll. Who is? It's Wraith. Look at him. What's this here? I don't know. It's spooky though. Cool. That's awesome. 10 out of 10. I don't know why I can't pick those up, you know? What's this way? Can we climb it? Yeah. I want to find all the secrets, chat. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way yet. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Huh, feel a little key. Chad, did I do the thing where I went off the path accidentally? Better get back to Robert. Yeah. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Yeah, I don't know if I would. But to be fair, if you are the director, right? Right. Don't worry. Killer's not coming. I vaulted the window. <clears throat> um, so I was gonna say when I was little and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, kinda like knowing what he went through. 
I got that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid. Or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. Mean? He showed me all his scars. You know he fucked up his shoulder that night? Real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn. I didn't yeah, he know got it hooked. was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face. Right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? Just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. Yeah, well. disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. <gasps> this looks familiar. Alright, chat. Sorry, I'm I'm just looking for secrets, guys. Looking for them little Easter eggs and nods, those tip of the hats, if you will. the hat from all those years ago I left it there nearly there I don't like that I'm not vault location gotta love a scenic route any major plans for after we graduate uh, I haven't given it much thought not like you what makes you? Okay, so, yeah. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies, too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies, especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off. It's gotta be haunted. At least a little. Haunted by the entity. Ba, 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 ba. We go and look for the secrets. They are scared to go off the beaten path. Not us. God, you scared the piss out of me, bro. And that. I seen it for like half a second.
Jack, keep seeing it. Pop up in that little corner. In the bottom right. Let's just look. I will spam the look button. Buddy? What was there? I don't understand what I'm looking at. Zombies chalk outline? Like, I don't, I don't know what that is. I think this is it. Up there. Last chance to turn back, you know? Maybe we should have turned back. Oh, it wants me to actually climb it, huh? Heavens. I like this. It's like watching a movie. I get to watch a movie with you guys. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Oh no, something bad's about to happen, isn't it? See a little box. Yeah, that's not good. He smells uh. us. And cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on murder. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right. Yeah, Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Spooky! Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys no. think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Wait. Wait a minute. Huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Yeah, there's some spooky man. Did you see something? No, it was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Probably just the right. dog. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, ah, <laughs> get off me! Not it's cool, me. Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> not cool. What are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. Jaime. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, a and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, 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 I mean, that, uh... 
Linda? I get the feeling Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do no matter what we say, and that's that. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around? Period. Are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just oh, she's got the shirt make sure on. you don't get in the way. Hell We've still yeah. got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. Dude, we got Bonnie. We're chilling now. Secrets. I can't see shit. Or, yeah, it's too bright. Oh, that's awful. Okay, somehow we gotta. Oh my lord, what? Please. Got all framey and crunchy there. You know I'm gonna look around. I wanna come back out here and look. Got sprint burst. Doorknobs are missing. Let's go find some doorknobs. Ah, you, you're a doorknob. Got a key? What's that key for? Hmm. Uh. Hey, it's the thing we used that night. Maybe we can go pry open a door. Cool. Need a little secret. Doo, 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 doo. Can we pry open one of these doors now? Maybe? No. Maybe it's the one with the doorknobs? I'm big brain. Green McGillicuddy. Find another add on. Wooden Oni mask. Let's go. Was all that just for the secrets? I'll take it. You won't see me complain, chat. No, no, no. Slag him first. I had a sprint burst. You know where you're going at least. Something else highlighted. Yeah. Yeah. The harshest flame yields the hardest steel. Howard Kingsley. Okay. Go, let's get in the meal, ladies and gents. Spooky. <gasps> That's where you got hooked. I swear to you.
You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but... Now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes... I don't know, it's... Different. He's spooked! I ain't scared. I'm gonna balance across this. I see that box over there, and I want it. I want it. I want it. How do I get it? I need a crank of some sort. Bet your canned yams. Objective, talk to Chris. No, thank you. I don't want to talk to Chris. I want to find... I gotta find a crank or like a wheel. Crank and a wheel. Crank and wheel. We got over here? There's stuffed things. Where are the stuff and things? Hmm. Sure. Jackpot. Big brain. If you guys are wondering how I fingered that out so quickly and easily, like, I mean, look, this has got, like, a path that leads, like, right to it, you know what I mean? Some of the stuff might be just a bit... I don't want to talk to her yet. Get our add-on. At this little box. Secrets. You. Nobody questions what I'm doing. She, yeah, she's doing things. The blighted rat. Value chat. Huge. Huge. Here's what we're gonna do. Pop my neck. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Bonnie. J just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set? And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. Oh, 
totally felt like just what this thing needed. How was the lighting? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound at high maze anyway. How'd I do? Hesitant. I mean, I feel like very amateur film. I th you know, we'd be supportive. Jaime, it was perfect. Do you really think so? It was everything we needed the scene to do. You okay? Yeah. Uh, hey. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. That's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. What? You watched a guy sleep for five I'm hours? Impressed. But, uh, I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, what was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. I don't... I, hey, what? Uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help I, that seems so forced. That was like so yeah, unnatural. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Like a very unnatural fight. I don't know. Oh, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but... We're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. Mm. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, The Machine Shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. What can you see? Uh, something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I I'll try shooting a little. <laughs> Try look at him. Why <laughs> he look like that? The, the flashlight's falling out of his head. What is going? I know I'm not mint. Oh, that's gold. Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. Whoa! 
<sighs> Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. Um. Mm -hmm. Think that door will take us to the machine shop? I got an idea. Let's not find out. Only one way to find out. Let's go take a look. Welcome in, King Gaming. God. Okay. My dad would kill me if he knew I was in here right now. Just rip my limbs off one by one. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Danny's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has been, as long as I can remember. I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. What do you mean? Uh, it's... It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional? Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Look, I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the mm. wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. I don't get it. They're like curious, but they don't pry more. Like, I, I don't know. I guess I just... No, guys! I didn't want to do that yet. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. No! I missed secrets, didn't I? This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Yeah. Man, it is. Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're gonna find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article. Hmm. It's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one's still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, uh, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking, though, right? Dude, if they got a body, to it's just there. bones at this point. Let's find a way. Come on. Hey, I did see a ladder. Am I playing old boy now? Yeah. Can Gotta I go back? To get up there. Oh no. You know we're separated from the homies. Do rule number one: you don't split up. Contrary to what Scooby Doo tells you, when you start splitting up. The game gets all messed up. Oh man. I just want some secrets, chat. Let's go find some secrets. Oh no. Maybe there's something useful in there. Let's go in there. Oh shit. This should open the door, right? You know, we still haven't used the key from... 
What's your bucket there? Uh, oh my lord. These controls can be clunky sometimes when you're running. Let's see what Robert has found. A ja <gasps> Broken? I know how to Looks I know how to like, fix these. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look. <sighs> That's straight out of Dead by Daylight, chat. Hey, can I ask you something there? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, um, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I could have been helping you right from the start. But it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like... Just us. So, I'm just in the way, that No, that's not what he said. All these suck. Um... So I want a few minutes alone with Chris. But this is an outright accusation. They didn't have room in the budget for diversity hire. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know, which one do we go with? The impatient or suspicious? Hey, I really feel like he isn't doing anything over the line yet, you know what I mean? I don't know. Me personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't consider anything he's done over the line. Hmm. But this is like so so angry, I guess. I, I guess we'll just go suspicious. You do seem to have been spending a lot of time with my girlfriend lately. And you know what she spends 80% of her time doing when we're together? Talking about how amazing her boyfriend is. Alright, word. <laughs> what? It's actually kind of annoying. What's up, party people? Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah, unfortunately it's toast. Wait, I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. Yeah, let's go get a brand new part. Did her face move, chat? Did you see that? Damn. Honestly, give me 90 seconds, this will be fixed. <laughs> if you didn't know, that's how long it takes to repair a generator in Dead by Daylight. This might work with the generator. Right? Put it in your pocket. Move, crew. Crew! <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Chat, all the, all the references to DVD is just phenomenal. It's a wire spool. The DVD add-on. <laughs> Could help that with the generator. Ooh. And we find one more part. I love that he didn't take that big of a look at it. He just said, oh, I need to scrounge up a few parts. You know what I mean? That could literally be anything. What's this? She has a lock. She has a key. Oh, girl has a key. What is that key used for? Is my question.
Don't worry, chat. I'm a professional. I'm a professional DVD player. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nasty with it, baby. Nice mm -hmm. job. Thanks. You know, they're a little cool considering the fact that I accused him of, you know, getting jiggy with my girl. You know what I mean? If I genuinely wasn't, I'd be a lot more defensive. You know what I mean? I'd be, hey, bro. I'm not touching your girl. She ain't touching me, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, damn. Oh, yeah. Now yeah, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I want to peep this lock. I threw let me throw myself into it man that's a that's an old wooden door man I'll go right through it. <sighs> okay the yellow tarp right there indicates I gotta go up there we're gonna take a I'm gonna take a quick look around that's right big strong man I'm up here by myself, you can kiss my yams coming up here. On... On drop tile. I'm walking across. Bullshit. This game lost all realism. I believe they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. What is this ceiling tile made of? Okay. What have we here? We got a box. My box. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how many add-ons. Okay, so we missed one. We've missed two so far, unfortunately. Where was this? This was probably down that other path, wasn't it? Hmm. That's really cool to see all these add-ons. This one, that one might be the toy sword, maybe. Wooden sword, toy sword, toy wooden sword, wooden toy sword, whatever it's called. Hmm. Maybe this key will open up the box car. Hello. Welcome in. Find anything? Yep. It's yep. got a label on it. F Stone. Holy shit. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. That's not good. We are creating oh, yeah. something spooky. Let me double check. There's anything in here. I don't like this. It, it's it's the wording that she chooses, right? This could be, have a real connection to Frank Stone, right? Opens it immediate. Not good. They already come up here? These guys are fast. He's fast as fuck. Am I just not capable of the jump? Oh. Okay. first yeah 
I'll go first. Easy as one, two, three. Well, if it's that easy. Y'all are psychos. Oh God, I almost didn't save him. Almost didn't save him. My hands were in my lap, chat. a pleasant way to go. I would not have wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. <laughs> Yo, check it. <laughs> He's like, my son died, I'm gonna wow. kill you. <laughs> right through the wall. Coincidence? I think not. That's a hand. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Damn. Is... Is that a... Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's got friends. This is insane. I want a jar. I want a hand jar. It must have come loose when the freight broke through. I I find it hard to believe that they didn't find this. You know what I mean? There was like a police investigation. Oh boy. Oh my god. Other people. In the net. Oh my god. Feel every blow. Is that old boys? Whatchamacallit? Hammer? Oh my lord. A creature forged to purge the world. Use a hand. Use what's a hand now. Cut and fix. I'm Confucian. Cut and fix. Okay, um, spooky. A hatch. This must be how Stone got in and out. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Hmm. That's a whole game. Oh, fuck! What is it? Oh! Damn! <laughs> Damn! Oh, geez, what if Stone's victims there? Powder. Powder. I don't think the police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. That's whole ass head. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. What? This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. We can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? Yes. But the movie? The movie's done. I thought you were... Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. <laughs> Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? We should get the hell out of here. Hmm. Uh, okay, honestly, uh, mm. why is he being such a wiener about that? You know what I mean? Like, 
And her too, like, she was like, oh, I don't think we should pop champagne yet, blah, blah, blah. Because there's still some stuff we gotta get done. There's still some shots we can do. Yeah, and this side and the other. I don't know, I feel like... We gotta go. Why would you not want to get a shot of all that? You'd be the first reporters on scene. Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. Uh, you think yeah, I thought she was such a all good idea? Upset. No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I think you're missing the point. This is the point. You've been like obsessed with making this movie all about Frank Stone ever since you heard about him. So? So it doesn't feel like it's our movie anymore. It feels like it's your movie. We're making this movie together. Doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every time I turn around, there you are with Robert. I can't seem to get a second alone with you. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Jaime, I understand where you're coming from. We can talk about it. But right now, we're running out of time, and I just want to focus on finishing up and getting out of here. Hmm. And then as soon as we're done, it's you and me again all the way. I mean, at least she's willing okay. to talk about it and yeah, is recognizing sure. that there's a problem. And it's I fine to wait, right? Now. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Damn. All right, we don't need to see this. Flag on the plate. So, should we wait outside? You go. I'll be right there, promise. Please don't make me jealous of a disembodied hand. <laughs> Huh. Is there a reason I should be? You? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna grab her. Something's gonna happen. Spooky. It's gonna move. It's right to you. Uh-oh. I'm no bio major, but blue ghosty shit moving around is not it. Now green ghosty shit, or maybe that's still blue. Huh? What? I don't know. Ah! It exp hands explode. Ah! That ain't good. I've seen a lot of good, and this isn't any of it. Oh! Oh! 
seeker, girl. Oh, I'm gonna run hands with the ghost. Mm -hmm -hmm. Call me the Ghostbuster. I'm about to bust that ass. Confront. Let's go. Let's get it. Yeah, we're coming. We dodge the ghost. Do I die? I just. My man cut me in half. I should have ran. Well. And she still dies. You got killed trying to save Chris from the portal. Damn. Two for one special. Yeah, we just. We died. All that for what? Damn it. Anything? Nothing. Not that I can see. Telling you, this door is a waste of time. Whatever's back there, it's important enough that she's put it behind this thing. I think the only way in is to solve it. Hey, we gotta find another one of them. There's an empty slot. Yeah. So there must be a missing <gasps> piece. That's a Pop here. Goes the Weasel symbol, chat. Look at that. Okay, it, let's That's say a we perk in Dead by Daylight. This place for the missing cylinder tumbler thing. I pointed I at it to find on it. the screen. Oh How god. Solve the rest of it. The piece on the right. Maybe there's something else in the atrium that's like a clue. Yeah. Why would anyone put a clue for their massively complicated lock right out in the open? Practically right in front of it. Just a guess, but why not try... this? That ain't good. That is not good. Good guess. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. <laughs> Almost like you knew. My man stuck his hand in there. And this... Is that the Thompson house, chat? From Dead by Daylight? But this is the Pop Goes the Weasel... Ah, uh, symbol. Yeah, he done stuck his hand in there. I don't think you could pay me to do that. Okay, we already looked at that book. Last time we were here. And this statue is still missing a piece. So, we'll, we'll find us a little statue. Oh, we can peep this box now. Again, and we're missing this piece. This. I think we missed these two, unfortunately. Which means, I don't know, maybe we have to play the game again? Can I look out here? Is that a thing? Oh. Wait, chat. Here we go. Nerves all riled. I can't believe we died, man. Jaime died. Kind of sad. Movie review. Okay, I mean... <laughs> That's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Oh, is this for the... Yeah, 10,000? Well, total 12,000 is kind of crazy. Kind of weird that she just has us all out in the open. And we've got a key. You know what they say about keys. Gotta be a lock nearby. No one says that, Maddie. Well, I say that, so here we go. What is that? Is that the Legion? Let's go. Who is it, Susie? Is that Susie, chat? That's a 10 out of 10. I love that. That's cute. Wait. Okay, it's it's spooky, but in a cute way, right? 
You got the hair, and she's just standing there all dainty. I love it. Oh. O'Reilly. Okay, well, we got a key. I don't think... Let's just double check that there's anything else up here. I'm a, I'm a bit of a double checker, chat. You gotta... You gotta forgive me, okay? I don't like to miss things. I mean, I'm just a huge completionist, okay? Like, I'm... That's why I struggle playing games like this, because I'm over here like, okay, now I gotta go back and choose all of the options I didn't before. I don't think this key does anything for us, so... we go downstairs more? Was there a door down here that was locked? Something? I'm trying to remember. Oh, okay, this door's closed now. That's kind of funny. wonder if anything's changed on the cameras. Only one of them isn't on. Wonder what oxtine has got in there. Looks like the internal workings of a washing machine, but somehow I doubt it is. Gonna find out where to use this key now. What are you doing? I don't like that guy. That guy's a booger. Something tells me he's gonna be the one to not die out of all of this. Oh, hey, look at that. Thompson House symbol right there on the bottom. We got a tree. And the hammer. Okay. What's funny is it's the hammer Something that's missing from this him. This weird has to be important. Does it open? That's okay. When we find the little hammer, it's going to open and give us the last little piece to that. That's my guess. So we gotta find a way to open it. And that tree is oddly similar to the tree here. Hmm. Curious? Okay, I think I'm just missing something on this top floor here. Okay, yep. Just gonna give us the hammer. What a weird scene. That space might fit the tree downstairs. Yeah. Okay, it's a, yeah, it's the Thompson house, uh, where our lovely Billy Boy grew up. No? It's the Cold Wind Farm. So this is the cow tree. love that. We love the connections, chat. The hillbilly has a really sad... You're coming with me, buddy. Oh. What happens when we move it? I've seen Indiana Jones. And the little hammer we're gonna get from Buddy. <clears throat> Yeah. 
Okay, he sma he snuffs the boon totem. That's kind of cute. Some kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. Yeah, it's the same little dude. And I love how it makes the little noise, the ah! And it almost looks like so we've got the fractured cow shed over here is what it's called, right? The map. In the background there. That's really really cool, honestly. Here you go, buddy. One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Hey, play okay. with your food. Time to unlock that gate. Inspect I Okay, I know the order goes um Thompson house cow tree. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the cow tree cuz you can see the Ugh, Excuse me. You can see the Excuse me, sir. Get out of my humping away. Oh, he's not there anymore. But if you look at the tree, you can see the cow is hanging from it. That's really cool. What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to Oh, know? that's cool. Hex haunted grounds? Maybe it's a pattern, but I and can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah, I just want to rotate. Or I just want to see heads. What, what's everything. And heads. Yeah, okay. So play with your food. The couch. Hold on, we're gonna. Just in case I accidentally spin it correctly the first time. Yep, that would have been the case. Oh, and the race little welling bell there. That's really cool. So Huntress Lullaby. What a, honestly, what a great use of like resources that already exist. She has a collection of all the DBD killers in here. You got the Huntress mask on the left there. Okay, that's kind of the only thing I'm seeing. Most known. Well, if you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Okay, now I'm playing overall. Hmm. So we got the hunters. Yeah, it's I'm like a museum for no fucking idea what something unearthly for sure hmm. yeah some of this stuff looks like DVD stuff and the rest of it this whole place is like a film set what's going on there why is that all blurry hey Linda check this out These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually. It's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb? Oh, uh, yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. <laughs> there is no tomb in The Prophecy of Pain. Oh, I... Uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was getting in this stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I, of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work? Ooh, she called him out. Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... <sighs> kind of guy. A crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd-pleasing enough for you. 
But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> Mischievous. We'll try to be friends with the guy. There's really only one thing I can offer you. Which is? My friendship. <laughs> You're joking, right? You strike me as someone who doesn't end up with a lot of people in your corner. That's your opinion? I'm pretty sure that whatever Augustine's up to does not involve us getting the sweet end of the deal. Point? If we've got any shot at figuring out what's going on and maybe getting the upper hand, we gotta trust each other. There's only one person I trust, and he's got two thumbs, and he's this guy. You can't trust this me guy. Me. I will give you my word on that. If you tell me the truth about your film strip, I'll, uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah, okay, booger. Oh my lord, what is that? What the, what is even that? that looks like, that kind of looks like the dredge chat. What the heck? Manifest I chat. I don't think I'm bothered to read all that. Especially out loud. I'm not a very fluent reader out loud. Hey, look at that though. That's really interesting. Look at the tarot cards. On the table behind. Oh god, it's so blurry. We don't get much time to look at it. But we've got the clown blight and it looks like... can't tell who the other person is. On there, but that's really cool. Doorknob. I don't know if I want to open that yet. I want to get another look. Is that dried blood? Yeah, that's the mask for Mr. Frank Stone there. Kind of interesting. Hmm. Is that the tablet for uh? Mrs. Plague there. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff too. Yeah, that's familiar. I think. I am uh, speaking from the Trade Winds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest or I don't know. All, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, okay, now, now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, okay, that was an explosion! Oh my that god! Was an explosion! I, I can't see! I can't, I can't see! Uh, oh my, oh! Lord. So this was, that was the that almost looks like the lantern that the plague has in her hand. Anyway, so it seems like they she played the or the movie was played and. That's the violent outrage that... I 
thought that was a gun. No. There's no way. It can't be. Hey, Linda. Oh. Frames. You should really come see. What is this? Mm -hmm. It was just displayed here, open to this page. Talismans. Contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Oh? Victims. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? It means pick up that okay. camera, baby! But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. Maybe it's... in one punch! What punch! Ooh, 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 ooh. Attack! Ooh, gone. Get out of my face. Sheriff Green! Yeah, I was gonna say, it's this old detective. Old... What was it? Was that supposed to be a nod? We should go retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie? He can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie? Huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out? Oh. Cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Pocket warmer. Mm, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea with everything going on. We're gonna keep our our home Thanks, girl. But probably shouldn't drink on the job. You sure? <sighs> Oops. I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. Nah. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Oh, <coughs> I'm sorry, chat. I tried to mute. He just needs to grow up. You've got to convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. <gasps> she has a crush. Playful, yeah. And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> Look, if there's one that single thing rude. a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so. Broke up. Kaput. Kaput? I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Oh? She was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was definite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. 
Damn. You deserve better than that. Yeah. I think so, too. Maybe we should go find everybody else. Are you sure? I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Does she have a crush on her? <gasps> what is happening? Oh god, I I completely Lickety forgot that our homies are dead inside. Lickety splits for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham bams, and thank you, mans. I'm still not sure I I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city? Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah. I really Just got the one. Hmm. What are you gonna do there? Same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one then. Yeah. Dude, we gotta go find our dead homies now. That is sad. Just making sure there isn't anything extra we may have missed. Right. Oh, Lord. Dude, we're gonna see. Oh my god, she has to see her little brother hey. chopped up. Guys? God, this just got sad, man. Hello? Hi. Hey, where'd everybody go? In your pocket. The clown, look at him. <laughs> oh, that's fucking gold, man. Yo, there's real fingers on there, though. Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. Okay, so that's what we missed before. I'm glad we got to come back here. 10 out of 10. Locked. Can we find a key? Oh, oh. I really just want the key to this. I guess we don't get the key yet. Where did home grow? Where'd Bonnie go? Oh god. We're ready, chat. This is about to be sad. Oh no. Hi. Hi, man. Hi, man. How are there flies on it already? No. He's not, he's not breathing. Well, he's in half. No. Oh, how could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? Bonnie, we should find out what happened from Chris and Robert. I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. Oh, shit. Look! What? What is it? This is... 
This is like what Frank Stone did with his... With his... Oh, shit. This might be some kind of copycat thing. We gotta go. No, no, I can't leave Jaime. Bonnie, we gotta go. Right now. I, that's smart. I would. It's so sad. Yeah. Throwing up is appropriate. Ain't good. Run! Run! What? Run! Just go! You'd only see him through the camera? Chat, am I gonna have to run? No, don't I'm not go gonna... that way! We got separated? Climb the box, Lee! rid of him? What the hell was that? I gotta find a way out of here. Okay. Oh, that's how the puppy got. another ghost I'm gonna have to find a generator I don't know what's going on anymore if I can get up there that's my way out I'm nervous okay you know it's fine what is there to be nervous about chat what it like we're chilling we're gonna follow this yellow wire okay well first things first Really good at repairing these. Ninety seconds. It's all good. Oh! Cook it up! Cook it up! Reload! Reload! Oh, that thing's gonna munch me. Oh, that thing's gonna munch me. I close. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got time. That's right. That's right. Reload. Find parts of the generator. I'm chilling. You know, give me a way to defeat him and I'm good. Okay? If it's stuff I can't do nothing about, terrifying. Get me out of my fit. Get me out of get me out of there. Hey, brand new part. Let's go. Okay, in typical game fashion though. I'm gonna put this on here. Yeah, again, in typical game fashion, we're gonna activate this and probably another spooky guy is gonna spawn. Okay, 
Okay, so it takes two full... Baby, put it down. Receive! Reload, reload! Gone. Okay, reload. Can I get up here? Climb onto the... Really? Climb! There's gonna be one at the top. Okay. It's gone. Oh god. I need to find Bonnie. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you, lady. I don't think finding Bonnie's gonna help us out here. Where's the camera? Okay, so it is Frank Stone. It's Mr. Frank Stone we're dealing with here. Okay. I'm nervous. Ooh, my adrenaline's going now, chat. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie to you. We get a... Dude, it sucks that... Jaime died. It's kind of actually, like, really sad. And what happened to... What's her name? Chris? Chris just got sucked into the portal, too. So, like, is she dead? Are we gonna get her back? No idea, man. It's kind of intense. Come on, man. Miss Castle. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here? The film strip. Do you have it? <clears throat> hey, slow down. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. No. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, well, it's gonna spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Hmm. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Don't you understand what I'm saying? I... no. I'm sorry. Ugh. Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. 
And you turned her down. Right? Yeah, we haven't we haven't committed to anything. We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Hey, start explaining yourself, man. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. My son! But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure malignant corruption, and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son? and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life. I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. I'm done with your shit, man. Done with your shit, man. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. She kind of lived some of this. Why, why is she like hesitant to believe that this is like, she's in the shit, in the real huh? shit, you know? Was this locked before? What the? Why you walk like a spooky ghost man? Well, we're gonna go the opposite way. Yeah. Can I not open that little box? You know? Pink thing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! There's a doorbell? These doors are locked, man. That's all right. That's all right. We'll get... Let's go catch up with Buddy, I guess. Where'd he go? Augustine must have a hell of a lot of secrets with this many locks. Why is this here? Hey, wait a second. Chat, remember when we turned on? Hey, yo, wait a minute. Turn back on. Turn back on. I want to go back. No, man. Okay, let me go through this door. You suck. Did that plant die too? Oh, I don't I don't much care for this. Oh no. 
Come on, man. I'm too scared for this. Chat, I gotta pee. Huh. You just didn't find that weird at all. Stan! You want a bathroom break or something? Every door. I just, huh? Oh, that's confusing. Went to the other end of the house? All right. Oh God, the occult. Just what I need. That's the entity killing people. Voted to a godlike entity. Okay, green lights. Green means go, right? Okay, danger. Why? What is going on? What the hell is even that? What the heck is this place? sort of pattern. Uh. I really need to shut this thing down. Well, I'm working okay, on it. That made something happen. That's good. I think. First, I gotta find secrets. Ah, come on. They always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. I yeah, know you might be right about. Okay, I know it's not the one lit up, chap, but I just wanted to. Ring thingies to go. Um, where's the control button? Yeah, um. uh -huh. Okay. To a good old fashioned on off switch. Yeah, for reals. Okay, one more to go. Go me. Yeah, go you. This is spooky. We 
can agree. Okay, chat. Let's see. Just gotta. Easy, chat. Easy, okay. How are you doing in there? Oh, dumb question, Maddie. That's not the best of your questions, but we're doing good. We're we're chilling. Lady, I am. You think it's Chris? Am I killing her? This is... This seems like I've made it worse. Did I get it in time? Chad, I had to cook my... I was cooking my mouse. Oh! Saved her? Oh, it's like Chris from when she was tiny. I was gonna say, it sounded like Chris. So she just came out of the portal. Oh, and then it cuts back to the... Oh, no. Keeps leaving us on cliffhangers, chat. Why? Oh, he's sweating. He's not an athlete. Right. Whoa. What's wrong, young man? Uh, nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something... I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Here and there, now and then, he does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute, less than a lifetime. <laughs> what a bitch! <sighs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. You know, he was a lot nicer than I'd be. Wait, now we're back? Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? I want to figure it out, too. She promised me freedom. <laughs> freedom? Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. She wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitting image. I wish I would have stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now Me it's too. too late. Too late. Bonnie just recently passed. It's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. Huh. That's... 
That's too bad. Damn. He looks what did you really mean good when you said all age. of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills and what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back then? Kids making Super 8 movies? In the mill? The mill's been gone for years. I told you, I don't count years anymore. Oh, Jesus, come on, Sam. You haven't been straight with me since the second you got here. I hate to break it to you, but that's all I've been. Oh, I thought that was gonna trigger a cutscene. Excuse me. Sir. Yeah, I think they went that way. I do wanna... You know me, chat. For the secrets. I don't get any. So, there. You can look at it. That's the door we came out of. Right? What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, drops to his knees. Uh, find him all in. Gotta find him before his, his skies are they're folding in again and it's uh, uh Diary? I was not ready for that. Again, my hands were in my lap. Okay. We gotta find Augustine now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Hmm. I looked at your journal. What? The things you wrote. You're not well. You need help. I need your help. Right now. I I'll help you, okay? But you gotta promise me you'll see someone when this is over. Sure. Promise me. I promise. So now- Sam? He just disappeared? Sam. Good lord, man. Sam? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, where- Is the TV back? No. Okay. Okay. Are all these doors gonna be locked? It wants- I know the direction wants me to go, I'm just- Double checking, Jet. Oh no. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Miguel, Cuddy, take a deep breath and head first. We already tried that door. Dude. There's nothing here, though. Oh, excuse me. I've tried every door. What the heck? Where am I supposed to go?
Okay, so we're missing... We're still missing so many. This is... Certainly something. This is crazy. This is a lot of film. Murder mine. Or murder meal. Did I say murder mine? Yo, it's the props! What do we got here? The nurse! Oh my lord. Just when I thought things couldn't get weirder. The gentle touch of the How spooky! <laughs> That's how she sounds, right? It's like... <laughs> I'm just going up and down all the aisles here, chat, making sure that we're not missing anything. Looks okay. like that's where I'm going next, but... What's so special about this lamp? I'm plugged. Doesn't seem to be from this time and place. In the future? It's not that hard to save something from the past. And just display it. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. It, this isn't right. Good lord. Okay, that is not what we shot. Yeah, she's all a spooky zombie. <clears throat> Are they all different, like, timelines? Maybe? There's this all... Are these all, like, the murder mill film? All of them? What are you doing? That letter's private. It's got nothing to do with you. Logan Chen. Who is Logan Chen? Linda. Don't you fucking lie to me. Yeah, period. But when I stopped Frank Stone in the still mill, back in 1963, I thought that'd be the end of it. But ever since, not a thing in my world has made sense. In any other, either. Everything, all of this, leads back to that night. And sure, I stopped him. But in the process, I caught a glimpse of the bigger picture. The stone was just a piece of something much worse. I couldn't shake the feeling that all I had done was delay the inevitable. That I was just one insignificant reflection of what actually happened. And it started to drive me crazy. Yeah, maybe a little. But I believe we believe him, right? Because we we know what we're getting into. 
Maybe not our character here. Eventually, that led me to Logan Chen and the Imperiati. And they helped me to understand what I'd seen. And what I could do about it. And what I'd have to leave behind. What do you mean? You do know that you sound like a raving fucking lunatic, don't you? I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. There you go. God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me, fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? Yeah, I, that's what I was saying. He looks crazy in good fact, for his age. In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green, but you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else, aren't you? What the? Okay, so he's like time traveler? Or he, maybe that's the entity, chat. Is that the entity? For every path taken, there exists another. Taken by a shadow self. Another reality. Another world. Worlds so close they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. Oh no! Descent of the Damned. No, oh, thank you. <clears throat> Back to the others. There are no others. It's just Bonnie. Where is everyone? Dead. Gone. No more. of toilet. <laughs> I found a key. Chat, I'm or too good at this. That says exit. Fire exit. Yeah, let me get in there. <clears throat> Back to the room, and now the wall is crazy. That 
We got a key. Whoever's locker this was had some serious issues. Right back. Of Ma? He is watching us. Who's he? If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Gotta be around here someplace. I didn't even know there was a leak. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. But that's my only way out. This is a simple salute. Just pick up something and lock it. We need a, a crank, maybe? Something to spin that? Sure. Yeah, like that. There's a tool. Gonna be all the way back on this other side. It is, isn't it? <clears throat> That's okay. Maybe I gotta go even further back. Oh. Decided I don't like this. It's awesome. You're coming with me, buddy. Yeah, buddy. What a hike. Oh, that looked like it was highlighted. I was like, what did I miss? Can't wait. That sounds promising.
Oh. Nice. Very good. Problem solving skills are maxed out. Bam. God, if I ever get out of this maze, I'm going to take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. See New York, fall in love, fall out of love, just live a little. Live a little. Fall out of love? Who wants to do that? That sounds lame. Can be me, Chet. Wait. Huh? Did I goof? Did I? Did I do what I think I did, Chet? I did, didn't I? So you spun around and thought I... Yep. Okay. Ugh, I hate tight spaces. I can barely... breathe. Come on, Linda. You got this. That's not... I wouldn't consider that a tight space. I mean, tight when compared to like this, but even this could be considered a tight space, right? Oh my god. Sorry, chat. Your boy didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So I'm a, I'm a sleepy boy. I feel like I'm missing so many of these. I don't know where we're at. We could be like here for all I know. I think that's a good. Good indicator of like how far we are in the game, right? Can't go that way. No, no. Let's to go that way. glad I did that. Um, maybe I'm not. I am no longer glad I did that. I am shitting. I'm loafing my chonies. Stone. F stone. Let's go. Holy shit. Fuck. This is Frank Stone's journal. I felt I did not perform my Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Every night I dream of the forest. Okay, so... It seems like he he got taken advantage of, right? He thinks he's doing good.
Oh. I would keep that. This is... Yeah, so the poor guy was heavily influenced. Yeah, that looks like the face of the artist in there, chat. You see that? The artist, it kind of looks like the twins up here on the right. Looks like Michael at the very top, huh? We got and that looks like Bubba. Could just be trying to make something of nothing. But... Oh, back where I started. Okay, then. I don't think I want to go up there yet. I feel like she started there. Oh my god, this... This place is so fucked. Oh boy. I had Dwight Allen Parker. teddy bear and made that a not fun thing. Okay. Well, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we did that. Is is that Dwight from Dead by Daylight? I don't know Dwight's name. Let's see. I'm just gonna look it up really fast. Fairfield, no, yeah, okay. I I thought so. I was like, that doesn't sound right, but I wanted to be sure. Get on up out of here. No, not back to this room. This room sucks. Literally just like ran from here. How many chapters are in this? Because we got all girl out. So is this a... Is this like a time machine essentially? Sister? Oh god. 
May I be confused, your mom? Your mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Ugh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? There's this thing, it's, it's, it's trying to kill me! What the hell is going on here? Who the fuck is she? After I lost you, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I don't know, I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know! Stan! You don't want to be here, trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? Dude, I'd be shitting my bricks. Please, no, don't make me go back in. If I go back there, it'll kill me. Hey, it's okay. Nobody's making you do anything. But, uh, right now it's not so safe here either. We should go. I don't think that's a good idea. Whatever came after me is still out there. Uh, we gotta go find Linda. Linda? Do you know Linda? Linda Castle? Oh, I get it now. You're a diehard, huh? You follow her here? Follow her? N no, we came here together. Sure, you did. Where is she? I, I need to see her. Look, I don't usually like to get involved in any weirdo stalkery kind of shit, but I could be persuaded to make introduction. The price is right. <laughs> oh my, great skill check. Let's go. Okay. There's something gonna come out of it. Oh no. Oh, it's just the girl. Okay, so this is a time machine? That's how she's able to go forward and back between like timelines or maybe universes? A portal for for space and time, maybe? Okay, this jumping back and forth is like it's pretty jarring, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I just wanna stick to like one area. Linda <laughs> Bonnie Oh, oh, hey, hey, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're all gonna die here. There's no way to escape. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. He's... He's mi hermanito, and he's gone. Are, are you... I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. How are you so calm right now? I'm not. But I know that the only way we're going to get through this is if we can just keep it together. Just for a little while. What is that thing out there? No idea. But I know it's bad news. And we got to get as far away from it as possible. Great idea. So how the fuck do we do that? There's the storm drain. that could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. I'm no bio major, but this sucks, man. It's coming. Oh God, am I gonna have to do that thing again? Closing the news? Oh no! What is it? What do you see? Shut up! I don't see anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. Getting lost in here is like 
putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. This night just keeps going and going. Yeah. A movie. Which was, <clears throat> we were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Well. You know what I mean. Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't. That's fair. Wait. Sheriff, you don't mean Sam Green, do you? You know him? Great. If Sheriff Green and Linda are here, you've got to take me to them, please. I don't know if we should really be traipsing around the place right now. We'll just stick together. We'll be fine. There you go. Only Let's one with a melon. Him. Okay. Are, uh, are Linda and Sheriff Green, um, are they looking for me? Why would they be looking for you? I was just with them, with Linda. When? Before I came here. Sure. Never mind. Hey! Wow, lock. an actual normal room. I'll be damned. I got a hard feeling like it's not. It's like that Keepsakes locket. of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. Wait, wait, I, I know this. Th this was... No, no, I can't. Can't what? This belonged to one of Frank Stone's victims. Frank Stone? A killer. From the mill. But what is it doing here? I've seen it too. There was a book here that explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. Yeah, give it to I this poor girl that freaking real, but... got lost in a portal. So, should like one of us wear it for protection? Hey, uh, maybe we let the guy who almost got killed back there have a little extra insurance, huh? Oh shit. I think Chris should take it. Poor girl was in a Chris portal. Chris should take it. She's already been through enough. That's fair. That's fair. I don't like that guy. I don't like Stan. What's this? The tricks. Blech. Hate this part of the game. Game ruined. <laughs> Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. Hmm. Change the nature and language results. Found a key. Hello. Now that's not boring. Before I do this, chat. No, you know what? Every time I do that, I feel like I get. We get this key. Yeah. 
And the door behind us opens. Ah, look at me. Huh? That is pretty slick. Hmm. Mm. I'm not confident. I want to peep. Peep another door. Doors, doors, doors. I just want to try them all, chat, because I know I'm missing something. Or excuse me, I don't, I don't want to miss any more of the things that I have missed. Why that door ain't got no doorknobs? I was wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. All right, we gave the old look. We gave it a good once over. Now let's go to the basement. If there's a basement, Bubba, I'm uninstalling. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? Oh God, there's gonna be a basement. No basement, Bubba. No one came with me? I thought we were trying to find them together. Ooh, I don't want to do that yet. This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court mandated psychological session five with patient Frank Stone, March 28th, 1961. Wait. That's well, Augustine. Week since our last but 1961? Frank, an attack. That's an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others to punish them, I don't believe it is wholly errant. These sessions are all about taking responsibility, Frank. Not just for your past, but for your future, too. Yes. You have a future. Oh boy. And it could be boundless. You simply have to trust me. Okay, so so far... It seems like she is just like the puppet master. Or the entity's the puppet master and she's just using old girl to, you know. Hey, the twins. Twins you? are creepy. That's just a fact. Yeah, this is this is probably the scariest one. If I seen this, I'm <laughs> Where'd he go? That actually made me jump a little. Sacrificial knife. I don't know who's at on this. Is 11 of 12? Chat, we've missed so many. Oh no. right here so it looks like we're in the home stretch I don't know chat maybe we just wrap this up today what do you think okay um Ali I feel like I've Look, I haven't missed that many. Oh, we don't need to this. What happened to the other dudes that were supposed to come down here with me?
Wow. I dig this room. Looks like a theater. You need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Yeah, I mean, we did see a girl from the past come in. I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Where were the other Augustine's two? Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. Linda? Linda! Oh, Jesus Christ. What? What happened? We were in the mill and... What? You're so old! You're so old! God damn! This, uh... This kind of thing... It, it can happen. Sometimes. <clears throat> Hooray! Stan! You're back! Oh, we missed you! Is this the movie you made? Yeah, it is. Technically, I'm the director. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. What's so important about these film strips? Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? She swiped it. No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. Do you still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of... Sort of might have already made a deal with Augustine. <laughs> he said, <laughs> It was before anybody else got here. I, I just went ahead. You fucking weasel. Yeah. I mean, I don't like him, but you gotta be fair, right? You didn't know. How could you know? I swear, if I had any idea whatsoever what a fucking whack job Augustine would turn out to be, I, I would have asked for at least double. <laughs> and then I would have said, no, thank you, and hightailed it right out of here, hand over heart. I was trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, Stan. Hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? I don't want to watch any more of this. This is spooky. We in the shit.
her on the hook? Are you gonna put her on the hook? Oh my god! Oh, this sucks. Well, she doesn't die, obviously. Timeline. I uh, think it's about time I just kinda made my exit. Oh. No! machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. Let's go! Gear up! Get that... Get that blicky! They are not in a hurry. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But Dad... How do these doors stay closed? Oh, God. Gotta put a little hustle in our step, guys. Did I miss any of these dolls? Okay, it looks like there's three more. Or how many do we have? Yeah, there's three more. Oh, I didn't notice her hand was all burning and like lighted like that. He's missing his welling bell. Okay, anyway. My god. I'm too late. Nah, oh, you got this. No. no that, that, it's me. It's me. Damn it. I, I told you to... What? What happened? Wait, I'm coming with you. I gotta help. No, 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 Robert. Whatever's down there is too dangerous. I can't let you get hurt. I can't. But it's my fault. I got them in here. I. I. If you don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Nobody's gonna attend to Bonnie on the hook. All right, she's about to hit stage two, okay? Back here, a nightmare repeating itself. Period. I gotta find them. Can't see shit. 
this way. Nothing that way. All right, here we go. Those kids and their damn movie. Fight more spookies. There's something about this camera. Maybe it's the key to all of this. This isn't right. It feels like he's here. Brother man, he is, and he has a grudge with you. You done killed him. I'd be pissed off too. Dude, I'm coming, but not right now. I gotta make sure there's no... Three times, remember. that well who's you protecting down here mm -hmm. okay we go this way first I'm scared too chat okay is that the way I came from? It's a spirit. Ugh. Phantom of Vengeance. We should double check there isn't anything. Is this the way I came? No. There's gotta be a reason to come all the way over here, right? Maybe not, just a red herring, I guess. like tape instead of the cloth that's really cool or like a band-aid maybe either way i think it's cool huh. okay. i don't know what direction is the right way man Hmm. 
Linda. That's not the right way. Shit. I gotta help her before it's too late. Yeah, I'm working on it, man. I also just want the lore and the secrets. Get nervous. Okay, let's go save Linda. Mm -hmm. Go for a police officer. Find a scary ghost. Want me to go in there? Yeah. First, we're gonna check for secrets. Always check for the secrets, chat. These monstrosities are everywhere. No time to waste on this. We already found that. Yeah, we already found the Wraith, though. Oh, monstrosities. That one's a cute one. Some of them are spooky. my chonies. Nothing. Good lord, man. That's so scary. Like, the music is intense and, like, whips your screen around. Can you stand? Go. Get up. I'll hold it off. Camera's floating. Okay, 
Okay, so he gets trapped in the film. How does she see all that stuff and not believe that it's cursed? Huh? Did we stop it? Is it... is it... is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. Destroy the camera! Mr. Frankstone, get out of there. You're spooky. Big old spooky guy. Spooky man. I don't... I feel like Stan's just a moron. I don't know. You got your damn movie! What more do you want? Oh no. You! You lied to me! I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't! You promised me! It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died! You knew I was grieving, and you took advantage of me! A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for, and a lot of hell to pay! Killing him. I don't like him, but don't kill him. He's gonna do that fake change. Oh my god, is that Frank Stone? My man's fucking crazy. No, not Linda! Sacrifice yourself. Yeah, dude, we're saving Linda. We're saving Linda. Frankstone wants to smoke anyway. Oh my god, I gotta get munched. He literally is gonna eat me through his chest. That's crazy. Fuck. Yeah, fuck is right. That is fucked. Was that what he needed? He needed like a...
hit him with a chair. Die anyway? Nah. Another two for one special? Oh my god. Good lord! He died anyway? That sucks, man! We sacrificed Sam for him. Okay, resume. Uh, shit! That's how we got down here. There has to be another way out. Uh. Why did I think that would suddenly work? I must be losing it. Hey, you know. Please tell me you understand what. Uh, what? What the fuck just happened back there? Yeah. Believe me. I wish I knew. Blacksmith's hammer. get that working we could probably power the elevator let's try it we need parts Got this DVD value, baby. Okay, do you think that picks the elevator? Repair all generators. Okay. Kill her? No, she's not dead. Square up with him. We gotta help Maddie. Stay away from her, you son of a bitch! Sam? Why not just get in the elevator with him? No, oh, Linda. I don't understand why I couldn't get on the elevator too. We gotta go back in time. It's the only way we're winning this, winning this. How the right? fuck did I ever end up here? Madison. 
I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one on one. The fuck are you? What have you done? Ah, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelette without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You, you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. I have never lied to you. Give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain, all this trauma, gone. You just need to tell me you want me to. No. Well, fuck you, so. No, fuck you. You're here killing Let people. Let me just think it over. Go fuck yourself. Period. And I'm so very sorry for you. I almost no, fell out of my not. chair. Oh, I'm nervous. It's getting spicy now, baby. That is so easy to get around. I'd be over that. Ooh, great skill check. Fuck. Come on. Okay. Woo! Yeah. Any more? We'll get to do a skill check. Uh, that was spooky. I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> Yo, wait a second. Oh, shit! I think we go in. Oh no, we died? Not like this. Because I had the pendant? Dude, I should have gave it to Chris! Oh no! Or, I shouldn't have given it to Chris. Does everyone die? Nah. Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. Power? And what of me? 
the one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. You think the entity is just gonna spare you? No way. No way the entity doesn't just stab her with one of them hooky blocks. Sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. I bear to have an Alinda, the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service. Unending. Good. I knew it. Wipes the blade. Is that, the, is that gonna be the next killer? Are we gonna get Mr. Frank Stone? I'd be on foot. I'm gone. That thing's slow as shit. I'd be on the road. On the road again. Put that bitch in neutral. Most of it's downhill. This weapon's a Linda, though. Oh, she's on foot. Woods. Maddie Bear Mom, sure could use a little help right now. Any help at all? Thanks. Oh, just stop. I love your hustle, lady. Can't be real, right? It's not really there. Are we sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. To the film? Oh god. <gasps> huh. 
It's in there, all right. What do we do with it? We, uh... We separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can, and we never, never let them come back together again. So how did... How did Maddie end up with it? If Bonnie died, how's that work? That can't be our only option. I wish I had a better idea. But we have to live with what happened. And the Riveras. The Riveras. We can't let it hurt anyone else. Okay. Our Our strips strips never should have come back together. Yeah, I'm confused though. How how did the movie even end up getting released anyway? If they all seen this and was like, "Oh, this is a cursed movie. Let's never release it ever, never, never." Whatever happens next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. I don't want to go to that door. Wait, what am I picking up? Chat, is this me becoming a survivor in Dead by Daylight? Or what's the other option? To open this door. Chat, what do I do? Somebody give me some information here. Which one? We open the door or we do do we go to the campfire? I kind of want to go to the campfire. I don't know what I'm do. No, that, I can't use there's no logic here. There's nothing. Yeah, I'm only going to what I know, which is the campfire. In Dead by Daylight, right? This just puts me into the entity? Oh, she's already at the campfire. Is that Claudette? And Meg? Ah! Linda? Did, did anyone else? Not all of us. Sam Green, he, he was just trying to help and he's... Now he's... He paid a heavy price. More than we'll ever know. Did you see Chris? On your way here? No. I'm sorry. What did happen to Augustine? I saw her on my way out. And? She had something she wanted to say, but it wasn't worth hearing. We got. Who are they? That's Claudette. 
They were here long before I came. I don't like this. We need to keep going. Come on. Go where? Wait, why haven't you kept going? Why are you just sitting here? Oh no, chat. I should have went through the door. been waiting just like we all have for what for a dead by daylight for trial you. What? now we can begin I don't want to go home this is all there is whether killing or surviving the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. Chat, my jaw, I'm, my jaw's on the floor. Wow. That is so fucking neat, man. I'm, I'm completely satisfied with that. Except not at all. What happens when you go through there? Am I gonna have to play through this whole game again? Chat. Can everybody survive? Chat, I just, I have, st wow. It's a beautiful, wonderful way to explain Dead by Daylight. It's like a whole game that explains Dead by Daylight. It gives you a little more, a bit of the understanding. And the way Meg and Claudette were just sitting there like, Sucks to suck. Wow. Okay, so I don't think I can fast forward through this. Uh, nope. Okay, we just gotta sit here through the credits, I guess. Wow. That is so wow dude if Frank Stone isn't a killer next I'm gonna be so upset the casting of Frank Stone wow that ended so beautifully you know what I mean like that just it what it did for me personally chat is it gave me a piece of a puzzle that was missing from Dead by Daylight, you know what I mean? So like, being a Dead by Daylight fan, but being heavy into like, lore, and... Like, I, uh, excuse me. Being, like, one of the big reasons I love like, zombies, right, COD zombies, is the lore behind it, right? So... I'm over here like this this gives a little bit more lore into the entity it's literally like dead by daylight like an extension of dead by daylight that's literally what it is wow
I'm a little irritated I can't skip the credits. Huh. That, that's just, it's a lot to soak in. It really is. Let's just hinting at him coming to Dead by Daylight. Cutting room floor. Use the cutting room floor to see your current path through the story. You can jump to previous played points in the story and change the outcome. Unlock different branches and find collectibles you may have missed. So I I can Plunder's Instinct unlock. You will be able to Use Plunder's Instinct and in close range to be collectible trick. I activated the horror of a collectible. Okay. Um. I want to see what happens when I go through the door. Oh my god. So this is the path I took, right? Holy branches. Oh, and it'll give me a percentage of the amount of people who took that path. So it looks like I did the majority path here. Wait a second. Oh my god, we're still not. Oh, hello. Honey, oh. what? I want to go to the beginning. I wish I could zoom out.
Oh, we did miss a collectible here? That's a shame. I just want to go to the beginning of the game! I just want to go to the beginning of the game! <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're getting close to the beginning of the game here. Stone was stopped. If you don't stop him, I wonder what happens. It looks like the outcome's the exact same. It doesn't really do anything except give you... Maybe we'll have to... Another entrance. There's something we missed here. I'm, I'm assuming this is the questioning um, if he's drunk or not. You can do that, get every branching path. Yeah, that might be something when we return to this game chat, I would think I would really like to, you know, So this is the very end of the game. So can I go exactly to my point? Oh my god, there's so many branches. This is where it really starts branching. So 32% of people, 1% come down here. Wow. Dead. Fun. Both escaped. Only 5% of people say yes. Okay. The... Um, Maddie escapes. Love that. Forty-one percent. Oh no. And it burned Chris. Dude, that's so sad because we gave her the pendant. So she ended up dying. If I just walk away, I wonder what happens. It looks like she dies if she just walks away as well. Maybe she escapes? Oh, I don't know. 95%? Okay. Is there another choice to be had there? There's a lot more death that can, can happen. Betrayed by the entity and sacrifice that came from. I just want to see what happens. If I, if I choose the door instead. Okay, now this can't be real, right? It's not really there. Are we sure this is a good idea? 
This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's in there, all right. What do we do with it? We, uh... We separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can, and we never, never let them come back together again. Go live your lives. Sir. That can't be our only option. I wish I had a better idea. But we have to live with what happened. And the Riveras. The Riveras. We can't let it hurt anyone else. Okay. The film strips never should have come back together. Yeah, so here's my question. How did Bonnie end up with her to give it so I can inherit? Whatever happens next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? Sure, where I am. Then memory floods back, and I know our world is gone, consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me. Little freak. Is that the last one? He's all too similar to um, our frosty boy chat. Poor Sam. I wonder what happens if you don't stop to even pick up Linda. Alright, I'm just getting rid of all the exclamation points. Uh, honestly, chat, I could do this off stream and everything. Um,
Okay, so going through the door I thought would have a different ending. It appears it doesn't. Um, but that's totally cool. Like, if you play a lot of Dead by Daylight, right, and you, like, have an idea of some of the lore, right, you kind of get over here and you see this and you're like, okay, I know exactly what that is, right? You're like, that's the campfire. And just... You see Linda sitting there and you immediately know. Then you see Meg and Claudette insane. Linda? Wow. Did did anyone else Yeah, I don't know, that's survive. I wonder what bumping up the difficulty does. You know what I mean? Like the, do, are the skill checks harder? Like, I don't get it. But, yeah, I don't know. Did we get every artifact? 10 out of 10. Are we 10 out of 10 here? Yeah. And we're 10 out of 10 here, right? Okay, so it looks like we found all the relics. It's interesting to get, like, some of the lore for all these guys. And then we, you know, we get the Frank Stone here. So he wanted to become a killer, then. Hmm. It's just the similarities between Frank Stone and our frosty boy here are pretty high, you know? Hmm. Anyway, I uh, guys, I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, really, honestly, 10 out of 10 game. I really enjoyed this. This, Like I said, it felt like just a missing piece was put there. I feel like there's still a load more missing pieces, but it's almost like a... It's like building a puzzle from the center out, and this just kind of puts some more pieces around that center, if that makes any sense. Maybe filled a couple gaps we were missing, which is really great. Um... Like I said, I'm a huge lore guy, so this is like this is very satisfying for me. And like if you're not huge into Dead by Daylight, I think this even even if you weren't into Dead by Daylight, this still is a good story, right? And with all the branching paths and stuff like that and being able to go back and try out every single path, which maybe we'll do in the future. You guys will have to let me know if you're interested in that. But maybe we'll break it down. You know, go through all the paths. Ugh, excuse me. And anyway, if you guys haven't already, make sure you slap a like on the stream. It does help push the content out to new people. And I think I'm going to take and maybe chop this up into my first playthrough or something and do like a its own separate playlist and almost video composition. So again, if you guys really enjoyed, please slap a like on the stream. I would really appreciate it, and I know my family would as well. So thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow, and I say goodbye. I'm doing all this solo. Nowadays it's all promo. Like what is it you're known for? I don't want no smoke. I'm doing all this solo. Nowadays it's all promo. Like what is it you're known for? I don't wanna be known for nothing, especially something that doesn't even have any substance. I hope wanna be someone that's rotten, I'll never be replaced, and there's something thinking I'm stomach so